This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a 3D model from an alpha or height map inside of ZBrush? So to start this, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and then I'm going to navigate over to the alpha tab here, and I've imported in some alpha maps. I have a Chesterfield pattern, a sci-fi Griebel one, and then a Superman logo. Now I'm just going to come over here and just select the Superman logo here. And then now I'm going to dock this alpha palette to the right side of my screen. So I'm just going to click this here. And this is now going to dock the alpha palette over here. And it'll be above the tool menu. So now with this palette over here, I can come through and select an alpha. And now I just want to take this alpha and turn it into geometry. So the first thing I need to do is open up this Make 3D palette right here underneath the alpha tab and just make sure I have an alpha loaded in, and then simply click Make 3D. Now with the default settings, you'll end up with something like this. So as you can see, it did use the alpha and turn it into geometry, but the resolution isn't all that great. So in order to increase the resolution, we need to adjust this M resolution slider right here. Now this slider works just like the DynaMesh resolution slider. So if I come through and say select 512 for that resolution, and now click Make 3D, you're gonna see I'm gonna get a more exact or cleaner representation of that alpha turned into 3D geometry. Now I have a few other options you can change in here as well. So you have a depth slider here, so I can set this to say a low value, like something like five, and when I click Make 3D, it's going to create a thin piece of geometry, or I can change this to a high value, and it's going to create a thick piece of geometry, like so. Now you also have a smooth value you can apply here. So as you can see, this alpha still isn't very crisp and it's kind of smoothing these different areas out. So if I come over here and change this slider down to say something like one, and now click make 3D, I'm going to get a cleaner result for that Superman logo. So just adjusting these sliders through here and just clicking make 3D will give you a different result. So here we have that Superman logo now as geometry and that one actually looks pretty good. Now you can also toggle double-sided as well. So right now I'm getting both sides of this mesh created. If I turn this off and click Make 3D, it's only going to give me one side of that model there. So if you have double on, it's going to create a watertight mesh, and you can export this out for 3D printing. Now another thing that's interesting with this process is you can use any alpha to create geometry from. So this was a quick example of just the Superman logo, but let's say I have something like this Chesterfield pattern. So I can come over here and click Make 3D, and it's going to generate a version of that alpha as well. I can adjust the depth to say, go to zero, and now hit Make 3D. And now I'm gonna get more of that Chesterfield couch look out of that model there. So you can adjust this depth and click Make 3D again until you have a result you're happy with. So that's pretty nice there. Now you can also modify your alphas under this alpha palette here and then use those modified alphas to make 3D as well. So if you come under the Modify tab here and just open this up, say I want this Chesterfield pattern to have a few more repeats to it, so I'm gonna come here and change this tiles to say two and two, so H tiles to two and V tiles to two, and now click Make 3D. So now I have a tiled version of the model. Now I can change this depth back down to say zero again here, and so I can see now I'm getting that Chesterfield pattern the way I kind of like it. So you can change these different values through any of this modify menu and adjust that alpha on the fly and then click make 3D and it's gonna give you new topology based on those settings. Now this process also works really well for just happy accidents. So if I select this sci-fi agreeable one here, say disable the smooth all the way into zero and now click make 3D, I'm now going to end up with a version of the model that looks something like this. And so this was all created from that single alpha texture and one simple button click, this Make 3D here. So as you can see, now I have this crazy building type structure that was generated from this alpha. So this took no time at all, and this could definitely be some sort of sci-fi cityscape for used in illustration or backdrops for different characters or models. So that's the quick rundown on how to use alpha or grayscale height maps inside of ZBrush to create geometry from them. If you have any other additional questions on ZBrush-related pipelines or processes, 
please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!